Hello and welcome back to Project Seawolf. Back on the boat, finally. I've been gone for a month uh, in real time. Uh, I was in Hawaii and then I came back and then my wife had some complications with the pregnancy and we ended up in the hospital for a week. So I was living in the hospital with her for a week, helping her with everything. And then, and then she went into labor. And now I'm a dad of two kids, uh, Calvin, uh, my boy, and a surprise girl, Lauren. So, uh, happy birthday, you guys. Um, it's now, in real time, been a week since they've been born. They were born two months early, so they're in the NICU, uh, the uh, neonatal intensive care unit. They're at the hospital. Sarah's at the hospital with them. Um, she's uh, recovering quite well, and uh, the kids are both healthy. Been an absolute joy to feed them and help take care of them, and uh, can't wait to bring them home, hopefully around Christmas time. So this is the first time I've been able to uh, get away onto the boat and um, really lights a fire under my butt to get things done. Sarah's very supportive of me coming up here and getting things done as well. Right now it's around uh, 8, 8 p.m. Uh, I've just now gotten things kind of stabilized, the camera's charged and um, transferring footage uh, off and uh, starting fresh. Uh, getting everything organized, it's, it's been a hectic couple weeks, uh, and, um, but it's nice to stabilize again. So the goal is to lay as much fiberglass as humanly possible this weekend. I'd like to finish that storage area uh, in the quarter berth and uh, any other places I can lay fiberglass. The kids, grandma and grandpa, live up here, uh, up north, so I should still be able to come out onto the boat every once in a while and film episodes. I'm sure you've noticed that I've switched to a bi-weekly schedule and that's just to make sure that I have regular episodes coming out, uh, otherwise I would run out pretty fast with everything else that's going on right now. This episode is coming out around Christmas, so Merry Christmas everybody! Um, <laughs> it sure feels like Christmas here, it's 39 degrees outside, uh, in here it was about 40 degrees and uh, I've got the heat going, so hopefully it starts warming up by the time I, um, I'm able to start working on things. And because it's the end of the year, uh, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, uh, you know it's, that means it's the state of the project time. So every New Year's I will do a state of the project address where we go over everything that's going on, um, new timelines, how long I think it's going to take to get to circumnavigation and plans in the meantime, uh, financially, what's going on. Yeah, things have changed a little bit since the, the kiddos were born, um, but we are still shooting for circumnavigation uh, in a reasonable time frame before I'm in my 40s or before I'm in my 50s, definitely. Looking forward to filming that for you guys, but in the meantime, let's get to work. <coughs> Alright, back in the bilge. Eh, it's quite a bit of water. Collected over the month, I guess. So, water's getting in from somewhere. I'm not sure where. Could be the drains. Alright, I've been cleaning up around in the, uh, in the bilge area. There's been a lot of delaminated fiberglass. You can see hanging off the bottom there. I'll get, get around to that too. Refocusing on the bigger goal today is this, uh, this wall that I need to probably reshape a little bit to get it to fit the way I want it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to clean up the edges around here. Um, oh, yeah, and I also uh, shaved off uh, some of the, de the delamination along this keystone wall. Again, I'm going to be fiberglassing a keystone back into here. Probably lined up with this wall. That should provide some structure to this. But I'm getting close to being able to put this in with thickened epoxy.
So it's a little imprecise, uh, the way I'm doing it in this bag, um, but it's going to make it easy to just snip it and apply it and let it cure overnight. Then I'll be able to fiberglass in that wall that I just put in. But this thickened epoxy will fill up the crack underneath and uh, lock it in place. I thank my patrons for helping make this possible. You guys have been making this channel something I can do in the future. And uh, if you'd like to help out as well, I've got uh, the Patreon link in the description. At $5 and up, I'll send you a shirt. Just going to kind of wait for this stuff to warm up. Once it starts reacting with the hardener, it starts to get really warm. So that's how I know it's working pretty good. And then I'll add the thickener. And that'll make it nice and pasty to put and fill the whole the crack under the uh the new wall project seawolf also has a gift list uh on uh amazon and uh that link is also in the description if you want to help me get uh, some equipment to get this boat back in the water sooner it'd be really helpful especially with the kids on the way things are getting kind of hectic and uh my attention is definitely divided now it's pretty cold out, so I expect this epoxy to take a lot longer to cure. I remember the working time for this stuff was pretty long last time I was filling uh, some of the deck. So I can't imagine it being longer than that. So I just added the thickener, and I'm going to mix that up and make it into a paste. And that should work pretty well for the type of application I'm looking for. Alright, so I'm going to cut the end now that it's mixed up nice. And go along this seam here. And that will glue it in place and keep it in place for the fiberglass. Alright, it's a new day. It rained a lot last night and um, the and the cockpit drains were not draining and that's kind of a curse of living under this uh, this pine tree and this fir tree. They get clogged a lot. So unclogged them, draining now. And let's see how the thickened epoxy turned out. It looks shiny, like it's dry. And yep, it is It is rock hard. Good, I'm glad. I think, uh, I think that means I'm ready to move on to fiberglassing, fiberglassing it. Um, this may be the wrong decision, or a decision that bites me later, but I want it to be symmetrical with the other side, so I'm gonna put chop strand on the inside part. <laughs> and roving on the um, chop strand on the engine side and roving on the storage side. That should be strong enough. I'm also gonna paint it. I mean, it's not a structural wall. There was never a wall there. So not too worried about it. It just needs to be strong enough to hold everything in and uh, if anything rolls into it. And then I also want to put some fiberglass on the on these walls here to finish those out and have a nice full fiberglass day before I go pick up the babies and my wife.
mixing up the epoxy. I already put hydrogen in it. Uh, it's the rest of this can in here. Uh, and then we're gonna soak these and put these on the uh, divini foam down there on both sides. Wow, okay. Well, didn't think I was gonna run out after using that whole can, but uh, turns out, <laughs> yeah. Now for this small storage area, it's not gonna take a whole lot of weight. It's just basically plugging the holes to the bilge. So really, it doesn't have to be that strong and they're not structural, so. Um, not feeling like it needs roving, necessarily. But if it, if it shows signs of stress and cracking, then I'm definitely going to put a layer of roving over it. So I've laid the, the, laid the fiberglass along the sides in there right now. Um, I'm going to add a lot of, a lot of, I just mixed up a bunch more epoxy. I have all these little strips of fiberglass that, um, that I'll be used to patch over some spots, so. so. Yeah, I had enough epoxy to just basically like soak one side, or just put on enough on one side, but not really enough to lay it against the fiberglass. Okay. Yeah, the rollers definitely make this possible. Without the rollers, you're just messing with like spider silk like it's just covers your hands so so you can see that dry fiberglass here stop dripping but yeah soaking that in and then get it all perfectly situated the way I want it then after all this I'm gonna sand it and paint it Make sure it's exactly the way I want it. And I can leave this stinky, I think polyester epoxy uh, to dry. I'm kind of concerned because I just pulled out a glob. I'm hoping it's not setting too fast because hmm. so when when it, when it turns into like a jellyfish in there, it's really hard to work with. In. Now before this epoxy really turns to jello, I want to finish these ones. Okay, that might have been a lot. <laughs> it's, it's just, I mean this chopped strand just soaks in so much epoxy, but it dries really like waterproof and nice, so. Alright, now these ones are going to be a pain to get in, so... Ah. I feel like sailing channels are constantly trying to fight to figure out how to film things. Because <laughs> the angles are so brutal sometimes. But hey, when you're chilling out on the beach, having the time of your life, at least you'll know. I know how many pieces of fiberglass you put on that storage area. <laughs> okay. How is this gonna work? Uh, please stick. <laughs> Um, can you hand me the roller? Oh, here you go. Because it is not sticking with just, it is sticking to my hands more than the, the foam. Lay against the, the foam.
Oh no. <laughs> Oh, literally the, literally the worst. Okay. It's a stinky hell down here. <laughs> Is this another reason to advocate for the modifications you made to your boat? So you can get better angles while you're filming for your sailing channel? <laughs> Uh, what, to learn <laughs> the angles? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Stuff sticking in my hand. <laughs> Stick to the stuff that's designed for you. <sighs> Perfect. Why won't you stick? Well, the epoxy has turned to jello in the container. Which means <laughs> this stuff is probably not gonna. Well. Which is really interesting because it literally took like an hour last time for it to harden up and this time not so much and it's colder out I mean it's gotten really cold so I expected longer work times with the epoxy I don't want to have to come back and do another <laughs> jeez <sighs> the worst <laughs> You're saying when you coat it with epoxy first. Did you coat the wall with epoxy first or? Damn. Because this isn't working out. So that the batch in the cup has totally crystallized and hardened. But this stuff is still gone. It's still sticky. So I'm going to do what I can and try to salvage this as much as possible. I'm going to finish off this stuff, the stuff that's on here successfully, before I try to salvage the stuff that's not on here even, so. Wow, okay. Pleasantly surprised at how the inside turned out. <laughs> um, it's all laying nice and flat and against the against the foam on the inside um it's just this is the outside part <laughs> it's uh, being difficult how is it behaving so differently on both sides i don't understand <laughs> a part of the boat no one will ever see, hopefully. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's gonna be the lumpiest, dumbest finish, but uh, <laughs> I can sand it flat and grind it flat and uh, means I have less to come back to when this is dry. Oh my gosh, yeah, this, on the outside of this storage container, nothing wants to stick. If I can roll that on and get that nice, then I'll try to fix the other part. <laughs> it's not going to look great.
lumpy. <laughs> But any progress, I, I I will go with any progress on the outside here at this point. <laughs> Just so I don't have to come back down here as much. <sighs> wow! <laughs> Holy sh**! Huh? That's awesome! What happened? I got it to stick! Oh, nice! Definitely gonna have to come back and soak this back with epoxy and add some strips to some places. But because it's chopped strand, you can't notice the edges of things anyway, and it just kind of meshes together anyway. So that's another nice thing about chopped strand is you can be sloppy and the edges don't show. Another bath. I'm sorry, what? Another bath. Yeah. I figure the only way I'm going to be able to get this stuff to stick down there is by mixing some fresh stuff, painting it on, and then, yeah, using the fresh stuff to stick the stuff down. This is literally the worst epoxy job ever. I can see this wall. <laughs> nice. I'm actually liking how this is turning out. Thought it was going to be a lot worse. <sighs> Quit while you're ahead. Yeah. The noises I've had to endure today. <laughs> Epoxy ASMR. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> uh, have you ever just wanted to listen to the sounds of epoxy without having to smell it? Well, welcome to the epoxy SMR, uh, ASMR. <laughs> Asthma. Asthma channel. Oh my gosh, again. You know what? We done. Is there screaming outside? Just in your head, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> Savage. You burned me. Make sure you put away your toys when you're done. You're doing such a good job practicing for your kids. Thank you. I'm we'll trying. I'm setting a horrible example with this epoxy work. Release me! <laughs> Hide the shame. Hide it. trauma response. <laughs> That's true actually. <laughs> Autobiographical. Yep. 
You know me? I do. <laughs> Swamp water. Hmm. The Bayou blend. I don't know if any of this has been usable, but we've just been doing shenanigans five straight minutes. Just been vibing. Just been vibing. Do a little shimmy shake. Well, I was down in the pit. <laughs> did you ever have to do those career quizzes when you were in high school? I sure did. My top uh, result was comedian. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I was like, how am I going to earn a living being comedian? And I'm like mid-tier funny at best. It sounds, uh, it sounds like your problem. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, I took those I took those uh, career tests in high school and middle school. Both times I got security guard. That's hilarious. And I ended up working security for five years. So any kids out there watching this, if you scored something, a career that you're not really interested in, on your career test, just bite the bullet and give in. <laughs> I guess my comedy career is still ahead of me. <laughs> you talk to people every day, and I'm sure you make people laugh every day. Your viewers don't think I'm funny. <laughs> you make me laugh. I know, day. but... Well, thank you for watching Project Seawolf. Uh, next time we're going to be cleaning up that mess and putting on more fiberglass. Uh, probably going to put that both sides of the fiberglass on that quarter berth uh, section and um, yeah I've gotta I gotta head out I gotta get dinner and uh, I'll see you next week <laughs>